Hi, and welcome to Wrong Way. And this is the FPV ride on the Mercane MX60. I'll call it GT because it has stronger controllers than the usual Mercane MX60. Wrong way. But before we get into the video, I think it's just uh, I think it's just human to acknowledge the situation that is happening happening right now in the United States. Um, a lot of you guys that are watching my videos are also from there, and with recently what has happened to George Floyd, I mean, just a really really inhuman thing that has happened um, I just wanted to tell you guys that I acknowledge that this has, this has happened and I am standing by peaceful protesters and you know every human that is trying to change change how law of enforcement is acting towards all of us because we are all humans in the end it's just really a tragedy and I just wanted to show you my, my support to all of us, to all of you people living in the United States and across the world. Um, just, you know, to just be human, to have our rights and not be treated in a way like George Floyd was. And it's, it's really sad, really a sad, sad time for for all of us, I guess. Anyhow, going back from going back to the scooter, I, I have uh, the Mercane MX60 from SEW, which is a shop in uh, Warsaw, and I think they will also start selling the scooters across Europe. So this is really cool. This is not a review yet, but uh, my initial impressions and the FPV ride. This scooter has a two times 25 25 amp controllers instead of the 20 amp controllers which are in the stock Mercane MX60 uh, for now I do like the ride I don't like the position too much because you can see that the stem is like nearly here so it's kind of hard to find a nice spot to be in and a scooter uh, but yeah dual motor peak power around 3000 watts horn light I like the scooter initially, uh, I especially like the design. Yeah, it's not charged fully. This is sort of a ginger on wheels style video. I'll talk a bit in this video, usually it's just music. And yeah, let's just, let's just get on with it. If it can go uphill, wait. Oh, barely, barely. And really low gl ground clearance. That's why I have to do this. Okay. Hear this? That's the sound I missed. <laughs> Big turn.
Dzień dobry. Miłego zajmie, super, dzięki. Close. Damn it. By the way, uh, it didn't work out on the roundabout there, but the guy said it's all right, it's no problem. And I did want to give him my contact details to, you know, if some, something would, would, would be wrong to just pay for my issue. <laughs> but he said it's all right, so, so it's cool. Yes, we have to take a unpaid road. In situations like these, like off-road, the Mercane MX-60 definitely has not really enough ground clearance. But yes, that's that's what that's what it is here. the motors because there is resistance so I might just just in case reset it but I might have fried it pull it back in I think I have fried the motor or a controller because there's a lot of resistance <laughs> which is quite unfortunate so I think I might just call SCW and figure out 
what has happened. So now you know that if you watch videos on the wrong way channel and if a device passes my test, that means it's, you know, wrong way proof and has the wrong way seal of approval. Something is happening with the, with the Mercane. Oh. Last quick update on the Mercane. Um, because the front motor wasn't working, I thought, well, I could use it a bit less when I do wheelies on the rear motor, which was a lot of fun, but uh, it probably was to be expected that now both motors don't work. So, I think we have to wait a bit more for the review. Uh, I'm sorry. You know that I do this stuff the wrong way. Yeah, probably you already do. So if you're still here, leave a like on the video. Sub subscribe to see more content like this. I'll see you in the next video. See you soon.